Hello students, good morning to all. Today we are discussing about new topic that is enzymes. Normally in non living in all living organisms, energy gives by proteins. The proteins are made up of amino acids and some proteins in those living organisms, some proteins are involved in catalysis of some reactions. Those proteins which are involved in that catalysis, those are called enzymes. Only some proteins, they have catalytic properties. Those are called enzymes. So it means all enzymes are proteins. All enzymes are proteins, but not proteins are all enzymes. So enzymes are nothing but those are proteins. And some not only proteins, some nucleic acids also act as catalysis. Like that, like example is 23S ribosomal RNA. 23S ribosomal RNA. Ribosomal RNA. It is act as enzyme. So that the type of enzymes are called ribogenes. So ribosome is nothing but a nucleic acid. It is performed in catal catalysis. So that that is called ribogenes. Example is 23S ribosomal RNA. Ribosomal RNA. Let's see the next one. Some nucleic acids also act as enzymes. That is 23S ribosomal RNA. These enzymes are sensitive to temperature. So more than 40 degrees centigrade, they undergo damage. They undergo damage. So optimal temperature is 40 degrees centigrade. So what is the function of enzymes in plant body? They act on substrate. They act on substrate and it cleaves the bonds which are present in the substrate. And finally it forms products. So bonds are break up and new bonds are formed in the form of products. So the, the breakups, enzymes breaks bonds, chemical bonds which are present in that uh, uh, substance and new bonds are formed. New bonds are formed. So here, enzymes are involved in the chemical reactions. That rate of chemical reactions. What is chemical reaction rate? The amount of product formed per unit of time. The amount of products amount of products formed per unit of time is called chemical process rate of that enzyme chemical substance chemical reaction rate of that enzyme so rate is nothing but amount of products formed per unit of time that is called chemical process rate of that enzyme so here enzymes what is the function of enzyme in that substance they speed up the rate of reaction they speed up the rate of that reaction. So in the presence of that enzyme, reaction rate is very speed or very fast. In the absence of that enzyme, the reaction rate is slowly, very slow, very slow. See the example, CO2 and H2O in this reaction, CO2 plus H2O combines of carbon dioxide with water molecules to form carbonic acid, to form Car, uh, and form carbonic acid. In the absence of enzyme, what is the enzyme here? Carbonic anhydrase. In the presence of carbonic anhydrase, CO2 and H2O combines to form carbonic acid that is H2CO3. So in the absence of this enzyme, carbonic anhydrase, if there is no enzyme, then it, it forms 200 carbonic acids per hour. In the absence of this enzyme, it takes one hour for the formation of 200 carb carbonic acid. At the same reaction, in the presence of the enzyme, it takes 6 lakhs H2CO3, that is carbonic acid molecules per second. Per second, 6 lakhs carbonic acids are formed in the presence of the enzyme carbonic anhydrase. Right? So in the absence of the same enzyme, it requires 200 molecules, it forms 200 molecules 
200H2CO3 per hour. But in the presence of that enzyme, it forms 6 lakhs molecules H2CO3 substances so for second. Per second. And these enzymes also involved in metabolic processes. Metabolic processes. And like a pathway, chemical reactions also involved. Right? That means chain reactions. Suppose in our body, glucose convert into pyruvic acid. Glucose convert into pyruvic acid. It is a multiple pathway. Multiple pathway. So in this, several enzymes are involved. Multiple enzymes are involved. It is a multi-step pathway. Formation of pyruvic acid from glucose that is a chain reaction in that several enzymes are involved. In our body also, in our skeletal muscle also formed in the presence of aerobic, in the presence of oxygen that reaction is called aerobic process in that the pyruvic acid is formed in the absence of oxygen that is called anaerobic respiration lactic acid is formed. So that is also a multiple pathway. Right, in yeast in the formation of fermentation re reaction, alcohol, that is ethanol is formed. Ethanol is formed. Yes, so enzymes have activation sites. When substrate binds to that activation site, when substrate binds to that activation site, then the enzyme cleaves the bond, chemical bonds which are present in the substrate. Then products are formed. Then products are formed. So enzymes have active sites. Active sites which are involved in the formation of products. Right. Substrate is bound to the activation site. Substrate bound to that activation sites and formed transition state structure. Transition state structure. It means after some time, after some time, substrate cleave and formed products. But that is called a transition state structure. So bonds are broken. Bonds are broken and new bonds are formed. That is called a product. So products are released from that activation site. After formation of products, then they leaves the activation sites of enzyme. So see the picture. Here, progression of reaction and potential energy. So, it means in even products are, even substrates are cleaved or when products are formed, then some of, amount of energy is released. So, see the uh, graph y axis and x axis. In x axis, we are taking progress of reaction, we are observing progress of reaction and y axis potential energy potential energy so to the formation of products the substrate requires energy that substrates requires energy by for enzymes but enzymes are lowering that energy levels that energy levels we are already observed in carbonic acid when in the absence of enzyme carbonic anhydrase to formation of 200 carbonic acids per hour in the absence of carbonic hydrase, carbonic acid for the formation of 200 molecules of carbonic acids in the absence of enzyme it require one hour but the same reaction in the presence of enzyme that is carbonic and hydrase it forms 6 lakhs carbonic acids per second so it means it controls it decreases the activation energy so see the picture, this is the substrate and this is the product. Product. In the absence of, in the absence of the enzyme, in the absence of the enzyme to formation of product, it requires more activation energy. More activation energy. For the formation of products, in the absence of the enzyme, this substrate requires more activation energy. The same reaction in the presence of enzyme. In the presence of engine, the same reaction requires only lesser amount of activation energy. Lesser amount of activation energy. So, it means it controls, enzymes controls the energy levels. So, P is at lower energy level than S. P is lower energy level than 
yes yes means a substrate it is an exothermic reaction it is an exothermic reaction where substrates forms products then some amount of energy is released that is called exothermic reaction sir yes it has to go through high transition state this is the transition state there bonds are new cle cleaved bonds are cleaved and new bonds are formed that is called products so this is the transition state so yes has to go through high transition state there bonds are cleaved so enzymes bring down enzymes bring down this energy this energy by making substrate to products by making substrate to products enzymes bring down the activation energy activation so energy this is the how chemical reactions a speed of the speed up by that enzymes right if you like this video please like subscribe and comment my channel thank you